Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Title Tuesday buy-in. We are setting the stage for a very special edition of Dynamite, perhaps our best lineup to date. This is the biggest Dynamite in AEW history. I'm Renee Paquette. Joining me right now, my buddy, RJ City. Hello, everybody. I got to say, I'm excited. I I'm a nervous wreck. I've never seen a card like this in my life. It's also Tony Khan's birthday. There's so much happening. He's in like a, a pay-per-view here tonight. Yes, and it's going to play like one. We've got a spicy crowd already, by the way. TBS, people are excited. The first 30 minutes are going to be commercial free. And we have a 10-minute overrun on TBS. So strap in, double the popcorn, pee in advance. And we've got action happening here on the buy-in, and we're going to get to that. But let's let the people know what exactly is happening on Dynamite here tonight. It's all happening. A first-time ever match. Matchup. Swerve Strickland looks to stomp on the final journey of the American Dragon, Brian Danielson. And the AEW Women's Championship is on the line. Soraya puts it up against former champion in Hikaru Shida. And then Adam Copeland takes a brand new step in his storied career, but the first step is a doozy because it's with Luchasaurus. And we've got the leader of the gang gang bang. Jay White vying for championship gold here in AEW, taking on former champion in Hangman Adam Page. And then the newest member of the Don Callis family powerhouse hop looks to paint a disastrous masterpiece on the face of Chris Jericho. It is all happening here tonight as well as the international championship that is scheduled here for tonight. Ray Phoenix taking on John Moxley. Unbelievable. We're going to have an update on that match a little bit later here tonight. Okay. But things are feeling good. I mean, you look at that lineup. Impressive. What's standing out to you the most? Oh, so much. So much. Powerhouse Hobbs, Chris Jericho, a first time ever matchup. Powerhouse has this killer Ryan instinct. And Swerve too. Two title matches, four first time ever matches. Plus, we're going to hear from MJF. Yeah. We're going to hear Christian from. Cage. He's always Chris. in a mood. Good and Lord. I heard that Tony Storm is ready for her close up, whatever that means. Okay. I'd like to get to the bottom of it. <laughs> So much happening. Cannot wait. And again, we are commercial free for the first 30 minutes when we go to air with Dynamite. We've got that 10 minute overrun. Yes. Really just setting the stage here. This feels like one of the most important nights for Dynamite. Yes, I think everyone in the back knows the amount of eyeballs that are on them right now, knows the people that are going to be talking about tonight, and they're all looking to make their mark. You know, last time we were here, I just remembered, I believe Stokely Hathaway lost a match to Hook, so anything can happen Who when knows? we're in this building. Well, listen, it's not just me and RJ here right now. We are going to head things on over to our broadcast team, Excalibur, Taz, and Tony Schiavone. Oh, Taz. Thank you very much, Renee. We are excited to be here, Independence, Missouri, in the shadows of Kansas City. Title Tuesday coming your way in less than 30 minutes on TBS. It is going to be huge, Tony. It's going to be huge. It's great to be with you guys once again. We've got a big show, like we said, 30 minutes commercial free tonight for some of the greatest wrestling in the world right here on Title Tuesday. And Taz, 10-minute overrun. Yeah, can't wait. You're going to get a plethora of AEW Dynamite tonight. Can't wait. Can't wait for what we're about to get right now here on this buy-in, though. Big, big title match coming your way right now on the buy-in. Japan strong open weight and Ring of Honor World Championships. Introducing the challenger, Ryoko Hama Japan, weighing 220 pounds. Minoru Suzuki. Minoru Suzuki, one of the toughest men in our sport, a true legend of Japanese professional wrestling. Now, with an opportunity tonight to add two more titles to his already impressive resume, Taz. Absolutely, Suzuki, uh, you know, one of the greatest of all time, uh, and, and he's, he's literally a living legend. He's still rolling. He looks great. He's physical as hell as he gets in there. I mean, uh, this guy was a tremendous freestyle wrestler many years ago, Olympic alternate for Japan. Uh, no, he didn't steal my towel. 
I don't know who did it first, sex pal with you. I'm not really sure. I, I don't know. I think Mike Tyson, maybe. But no, no, he wore a white towel around his neck, but I digress. Shivani, how's it going, buddy? Uh, fine. Yes. That's great. Okay, okay, how about Suzuki? Okay, so I was saying Suzuki has held titles in both Ring of Honor and New Japan Pro Wrestling. He so certainly he has. He's also a former King of Pan Crace. As now set to face Eddie Kings. Kingston, the world champion of Ring of Honor. Suzuki, former Ring of Honor world television champion. Let's go back down to the Daffer Yapper, Justin Roberts. And his opponent, Very Yonkers, New York. Weighing 244 pounds, he is the New Japan Strong Open Weight and Ring of Honor world champion, Eddie Kingston. Taz, when this match was announced yesterday, I think. Everybody had the exact same thought. This is gonna be a slugfest. Oh, yeah. These these two men can bring it. They're both heavy, heavy strikers, heavy-handed men, both of them. You know, Kingston's always had a, a load of respect for Japanese professional wrestling, Japanese strong style. No one exemplifies that more than Suzuki, Shivani. Suzuki is the, one of the greatest strikers that I've ever seen. And Eddie's a hell of a striker, too, so I don't think there's going to be much finesse in this match, Taz. No, there's not. I mean, to the point you made, Excalibur, I mean, look at, I mean, a size advantage goes to Eddie Kingston. It's, uh, he's also got the home field advantage here, you know, we're not near Yonkers, we're in Kansas City. Suzuki with the experience advantage, and, you know, you talked about the dangerous strikes of Minoru Suzuki, oh. but back when he was competing in mixed martial arts, when he was the king of Pancrase, won 76% of his fights, 22 victories via submission. Well, see what happened here. Yeah. Yeah. Eddie, Eddie took the straps down and said, hey, I don't need nothing protecting me. Let's go. Let's throw hands. Don't warm it up in the ball pin here. They heard that one in St. Louis. They <laughs> sure did. Oh, that, oh, that one dropped, dropped Kingston to a knee. Damn. <laughs> it's rare that you see matches start off like this. How about maybe a lockup? But <laughs> I don't think you're going to get that. Uh, yeah, I, I think you're right. <laughs> and even though Suzuki is smaller in height and body weight than Kingston, doesn't matter, x Calvin, you know, with hands, swinging hands, the size don't matter all the time. Minoru Suzuki, amateur wrestling background, striking background, also has that, the tutelage, the knowledge of the Wigan Snake Pit passed down to him by Carl Gotch in the New Japan Dojo. Wow. So that's some lineage right there. Yeah. Right? Oh, wow. Kingston's out. Minoru Suzuki has just won this. No, he's not. Kingston, <laughs> he's stunned, but he's not out. Well, you can catch someone on the button. The proverbial button is a real thing right out along that jawline. Everyone's is kind of different, and that might have been what happened there to Eddie. Well, he picked him up to hit him again, so he didn't, wasn't going to try to pin him, and I, I, I agree. I thought Eddie was out, too. Kingston on roller skates <laughs> again goes down. I mean, this first shot, take a look at it. This might have been the one caught him on the button here. Watch. Yeah, that was well placed, and he followed through with that forearm shot. But now Suzuki recognizing that Kingston's not out, putting that submission technique to work. Our tremendous submission artist is Suzuki. Joint manipulation of the fingers right there. Controlling the hand, controls the arm. Eddie's on the ropes, got to break this hole. Yeah, he, he, last couple of cranks before the five count for Suzuki. And you're right, Shivani, sometimes that's enough to do it. Yeah, to break a guy's finger. And you know, I've wrestled with broken fingers. It sucks, it's tough to get through a match. And Eddie might have a broken finger. Especially if you're somebody like Kingston that favors those chops. That broken finger, every time you land a chop, it's gonna yeah. be agony. That's a good point. Suzuki and Kingston, they know each other so well. They've met before, three times before, in tag team competition. The first at Rampage Grand Slam 2021, Kingston and Moxley defeating Suzuki and Lance Archer that night. This is their first ever singles outing and the first first of the night, Tony. As Oh, look at this, Jay Lethal, along with Sutnam Singh, Sanjay Dutt, Karen, and Jeff Jarrett taking in the action here ahead of Dynamite Title Tuesday. Yeah, uh, right now we know that Jay Lethal has his sights set on becoming the Ring of Honor World Champion. Well, you gotta go through that man right there, so I guess that's why Sanjay and Lethal and Jarrett, they're watching on. But imagine if Oof. Minoru Suzuki oh, and he, oh, Kingston dropping down to a seated position. Oh, oh 
Oh, man. That, Eddie. Yeah, you're right. Knock <laughs> that finger off. I mean, Minoru Suzuki, right, the way he's got Kingston rocked and reeling, he has a very real chance of not only becoming the New Japan Strong Openweight Champion, but the Ring of Honor World Champion. And J Oh, wow. <laughs> Rick Knox wants no part of Minoru Suzuki. Either. Yeah, Mr. Intimidation. Right now, Eddie's chops and the Urican may be in trouble here. Could be. I mean, you made that point earlier, Excalibur, about the fingers and the hands affecting the chop. We saw that. And, and Eddie, before when he was chopping, it was affecting his fingers. Kingston trying to fire himself up. Suzuki boot to the midsection, accelerates to the ropes. Kingston! Oh, that one! That one stunned Suzuki. That was some shot right there. And Taz, I mean, you know those those chops of Kingston. I mean, not only is it is it a stinging, a deep stinging sensation, also drives the air out of your lungs. It does. It does drive the air, drive, drive the air out of your lungs. <laughs> Look at Suzuki. It's like roast beef, <laughs> roast beef Jones on the chest. <laughs> It's like the steak off blob that was at catering earlier. <laughs> oh, but Kingston backing Suzuki up to the corner and now scoring. As you see, the welts, the abrasions rising out of the chest of Minoru Suzuki, but he's walking into it again. <laughs> Suzuki just said, hit me. Like, come on, come on. Eddie will just, he does a ridge hand shots with his whole wrist. Oh! I mentioned it's a night of first, the first time ever matchup. Swerve Strickland, Brian Danielson to be the number one contender for Christian Cage and the TNT Championship. Ray Fenix, Sean Moxley for the AW International Championship, but Kingston, the exploder, the far leg hooks. Does he retain? No. Suzuki able to kick out. Good technique by Eddie on the throw there on that high collar. Another first time matchup. Powerhouse Hobbs, the newest member of the Don Callis family, going one on one with the Ocho, Chris Jericho. Kingston, you was thinking Hurricane Suzuki once again interrupted it. How about Jay White, man? He's got a heavy challenger here. Yeah, Hangman Adam Page and Jay White collide tonight on Dynamite Title Tuesday. Jay White, after stealing MJF's AEW World Championship title belt. Claims that he's the real world champion. Tony's timeless. Tony Storm is ready for her close up tonight on Dynamite Title Tuesday. Plus, Soraya puts the AEW Women's World Championship on the line against former two time champion Hikaru Shida. All part of Title Tuesday Dynamite coming up your way just over 15 minutes live on TBS. And we will also hear from the AEW World Champion. Oh, Minoru Suzuki covers lateral press. Kingston. Kicking out, we will hear from MJF after having his AEW World Championship title belt stolen by Switchblade Jay White one week ago. Yeah, definitely highway robbery by Jay White. He still has MJF's world title. That's wild. This is going to be wild. Yeah, the rated R superstar Adam Copeland makes his AEW in ring debut when he takes on Christian Cage's right hand of destruction. Luchasaurus live tonight, all a part of a special dynamite title Tuesday. And we understand that we will kick off Title Tuesday. We'll open up our program with special comments from the TNT champion, Christian Cage, top of the hour, live on TBS. There is no doubt Adam Copeland arriving at AEW has been the biggest story in pro wrestling over the last couple of weeks. Look forward to seeing what he can do with the ring here tonight against Luchasaurus. And these chops have been coming nonstop by both of these guys. <laughs> Crazy Grandpa Jones, he's laughing right in Eddie's face. Kingston trying to set his jaw on fans. We know that, I mean, it's gonna be at least the first 30 minutes, if not longer, of Dynamite Title Title Tuesday will be commercial free. And look at Suzuki lighten up Kingston. Again, Kingston drops. I think Suzuki realized that right, the chops aren't working. I'm gonna throw hands, some body shots, and they catch you with a right. And that's what happened. Change levels, keep your opponent guessing. Am I wrong? And I know it's my age sometime, but has anyone tried to... How many penny predicaments have we tried? Like one or two? Not many, right? Is JR on our broadcast? No. <laughs> I just... I'm an Excalibur. <laughs> uh, there's been a handful. Yeah, but a handful. this, is, this has been more penny, yeah. a, a show of, uh, of bravado, of who's got the toughest yeah. chin. Yes. And, I mean, what do you think Jay, Jay Lethal wants to face for the Ring of Honor World Championship, Minoru Suzuki or Eddie Kingston? That's a good question. I would probably 
lean towards Kingston. I think he might want to compete against, meaning Jay Lethal, but you never know. As long as he has those Yahoos behind him, and they are Yahoos, including Karen Jarrett. Oh, that's a very that's okay. pretty nice. That's a lady there. That's a lady? Yeah, have you seen her in action? I know her. She's a lady. Oh, Suzuki. I know her husband. Oh, nice. Hanging on to that, that rear chin right there. With that roll through that. Kingston tried. Yeah, Kingston tried to make the roll for the for the ropes, but we mentioned the submission prowess of Minoru Suzuki. Kingston struggling up to his feet, urged on by this great crowd here in the shadow of the Kansas City. As, oh wait, Suzuki, looking perhaps for that gotch style pile driver. Yeah, you're exactly right, yeah, man. Is. Got a hook. Kingston, he knows that danger well, though. Back body drop, desperation counter out. Kingston, the Oregon! Oh, it works! You might get him. Suzuki goes down, one, two, no! Suzuki kicks out! Look at the face of Eddie, Eddie with his big shot that time, Taz, it didn't work. I know, it was a barely a kick out though, Shivani, barely. But uh, Taz, you know, we've seen with Orange Cassidy, when his hand was damaged, that orange punch, less effective. Probably the same for Eddie Kingston, that Hurricane. Nice drop step by Suzuki, looking for the German suplex. And Hurricane again! Whoa. He caught him that time. On target, two, Whoa. no, Suzuki! Wow. I think that was before the two count. I, I believe, you're right, I think it was a one count, and he just shoved his way out of that. But look at how red the chest of Minoru Suzuki is. Look how red the chest of Eddie Kingston is. What a battle we are witnessing here ahead of Title Tuesday, just over 13 minutes away, live on TBS. Eddie will not stop hitting Suzuki. It don't matter how much Suzuki yells and sticks his tongue out, Eddie's gonna keep hitting him. We'll try to hit him. Oh, he Kingston him. caught him that time. Double spin. Enzi Geary. Did you see how stiff Suzuki's posture was? Now the Northern Lights bomb! Kingston floats over, the leg is hooked, and he gets the win! No winner of this match still New Japan Strong Open Weight and Ring of Honor World Champion, Eddie Kingston! It was exactly what everybody thought it was going to be, a slugfest from the moment the bell rang. Yeah, physical for sure, and Jay Lethal now got something in mind here. He knows Kingston still retaining that title. It's a physical contest there, guys. Extremely physical battle. Body gone? Yeah, yep. plural, uh, plural, 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 or unplural. What's it that one that? Singular. Singular. Forget plural. Yeah, fix it in post. <laughs> Eddie Kingston victorious, successfully retaining the New Japan Strong Openweight Championship, the Ring of Honor World Championship, and now locking eyes with the vanquished challenger, Minoru Suzuki. You can see struggling to pull himself back up to the to the ring apron. Yeah, I think uh, knowing Eddie. You know, he, he has so much respect for those who came before him, Kingston. And that's something a lot of people might not know about Eddie. Some might, but he definitely does. He does respect those who paved the way in pro wrestling. You know, and I, Suzuki's one of those guys, obviously. Eddie Kingston, Minoru Suzuki may not seem like a cut from a very similar cloth. cloth excuse me. They like physicality. They like a man that will push their opponent to their limits. And yeah. that's what each of these men did to one another tonight. No, you're right. And both... Men, such similar styles. A live audience here in Kansas City, respect towards Suzuki. And Minoru Suzuki. <laughs> They're keeping up. <laughs> Look at Asher the Bell. <laughs> oh, man. Tremendous respect shown by both competitors, by champion and challenger alike. And Kingston, he wants the legend. He wants Minoru Suzuki to have center stage. Well, Eddie Kingston retains, perhaps now, with Jay Lethal, Jeff Jarrett, Karen Jarrett, Sanjay Dutt, and Sutton Singh waiting in the wings, but that's a concern for another time. I think Kingston and Suzuki, they've earned an ice bath tonight, Taz. Yeah, definitely. Definitely a big ice bath. Maybe a couple of brewskis, maybe a bottle of wine. Hold on, I've got Eddie Kingston coming over here. 
don't know what he's doing. Kicks in. You never know what he's doing. <laughs> what are you doing? Hey, ladies and gentlemen, don't be idiots. Watch Dynamite tonight. And he left me hanging. And Dynamite title Tuesday. Hang Less bro. than 10 minutes away. What are we doing? And he kicks it. Oh, see, now he's sweating all over 10. Oh, boy. Oh, hey, what? Take this camera off of us. We've got to go down to the remarkable uh, Renee Paquette and the regrettable uh, RJ City. Don't tell Eddie Kingston I said this, but he's one of my all time favorites. What I've never been slapped like that before, and I've never been hugged like that before. This is special. Oh, God. Oh, I'm sorry. Thank you. That was great. Let's hug. The wonderful Eddie Kingston, a double champ and a classy guy. How about that contest, huh? Unbelievable. So great. We are under 10 minutes away, away from being live with Dynamite. Check out what we got tonight. Oh, my God. We got Swerve Strickland, Brian Danielson. The winner will face Christian for the TNT Championship this Saturday on Collision. And they are kicking things off here tonight for us. Starting things off also tonight, the newest member of the Don Callis family, Powerhouse. Hobbs taking on one of John Callis's former long-standing best friends in Chris Jericho. First time ever between Chris Jericho and Powerhouse Hobbs. John Callis has really been collecting quite the array of people to be joining his family, huh? I think so, and I think Hobbs has, has kind of been a lost soul in a sense. Mm -hmm. He's flopped from the QTV, he was in FTW, you know, Team Taz, that whole thing. I feel like Callis has maybe finally unlocked that one piece that Hobbs was missing. This could certainly be it. Well, listen, earlier tonight we were running down all the things that we're going to see tonight on Dynamite. One of those matches, the international title on the line, Ray Phoenix against John Moxley. Uh, there is an update on that match. We're going to take things on back to the CEO and president of AEW, Tony Khan. Standing by here with AEW owner Tony Khan. Moments right. away, nice literally nice moments nice away nice. from Title Tuesday, live on TBS at 8, 7 Central. Tony, I understand, though, you have an important announcement for us. Yes, unfortunately, my announcement, not the happiest one. We're going to have a great night tonight on TBS Title Tuesday coming up next. But unfortunately, AEW doctors, they can't clear John Moxley. Mox is doing much better since his injury at Grand Slam. He's on a great track, but he's not quite there yet. So the doctors won't clear Mox for tonight's match. But this is Title Tuesday on TBS, and we are going to have an international championship match tonight. Ray Phoenix is going to defend the championship coming up next tonight on TBS. And oh, hook. Hey, come on, Tony. It's got to be orange. Never got a rematch. Yeah, I agree. I think it's a great idea. What do you say, Orange? Title Tuesday tonight on TBS. Um, I guess. I mean, if you're not sure. No, 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 I'm sure. I'm, I'm, yeah, no, I'm sure. I'll, I'm, I'll, I'll take it. Um, happy birthday, by the way. Thanks. Oh, thank you. Well, that match is now official. Wow. The former international champion, Orange Cassidy, looking to take back that gold from Ray Phoenix. Unbelievable. Uh, a great substitution, of course. Listen, we put health first and foremost here. Uh, obviously, wishing the best mm -hmm. for my husband, John Moxley. But I think that Orange, Orange uh, Cassidy and Ray Phoenix tonight are going to absolutely tear yeah. it up here. I mean, when you think of Orange Cassidy nearly a year ago capturing that All-Atlantic championship, Championship at the time mm -hmm. to think of the rain that he had. I mean, you watch it, Orange Cassidy, the, the performer, the professional wrestler that he flourished into during this run to really plant his flag here in AEW. Now we take things back here to Ray Phoenix and how he became the international champion. To see these two here tonight, this is going to be unreal. This is just three weeks ago at Grand Slam. Ray Phoenix getting that victory over John Moxley. What do you think that Ray Phoenix is going to have to do tonight to hang on to that gold against Orange Cassidy? I mean, we saw the reign that he had. Over 30-plus title defenses from Orange Cassidy. What do you expect tonight? Well, they tangled their wrestle dream. They got a feel for each other in the four-way tag. I have to say, Orange Cassidy is not just a former champion. He is a history-making international champion. He has more singles wins than anyone 
this year in AEW. That is just tremendous, and, and I don't know how he's going to go about getting a second ring. I want to know what version of Orange Cassidy we're going to see here tonight. You have a match like this, a championship match of this caliber on one of the biggest nights in Dynamite's history sprung on you. I mean, that really tells you a lot about a man in this situation. So certainly looking forward to that matchup. What else is really standing out to you here tonight? Let's uh, take a well, look here. As, as Excalibur said, Christian's opening the show, plus the newest member of the Don Callis family. There is a new author to the Book of Hobbes. It is Don Callis, and the next chapter clearly has Chris Jericho written in it. Well, another championship on the match here entitled Tuesday, the AEW Women's Championship. Soraya putting it all on the line against former champion, so dangerous, Hikaru Shida. Jay White has certainly been acting like the AEW champion. Now he's going to have to fight like it because he's going to have a back-to-back -back high noon duel against Hangman Adam Page. All right, so I feel like Hangman Adam Page really needs this win here tonight. We've not seen him in action since that loss to Swerve Strickland mm -hmm. at Wrestle Dream. What do you think his headspace is like right now? I think he's got too much on his plate. He's also one third of the Ring of Honor six man champions with the Young Bucks. I think there's too much going on. I think he needs to clear his plate and focus on what's in front of him. And Jay White and the Bang the Bang, bang, bang Gang, gang the bang, is bang, on quite bang. a tear. Got it that time. <sighs> And so for Jay White, he's walking around with that Triple B belt. He's got that matchup at full gear against MJF. He has so much going on tonight. Do you think that he's looking past Hangman Adam Page? I, I think he might be because lest we forget, MJF will be here tonight. I don't know in, in capacity. what capacity, but Jay White better keep his eyes focused on what's in front of him because that buckshot lariat comes very oh quickly. Oh my Lord, does yeah. it ever. Now, our main event tonight, this is going to be unbelievable. We have one of the biggest debuts of all time here in AEW with Adam Copeland taking on Luchasaurus. Now, since Adam Copeland showed up here in AEW, I think it's fair to say that things haven't been exactly smooth sailing for Adam Copeland in AEW. You think Christian Cage, so I can tell him the real reason I'm here. For 40 years, you and I have been best friends. It's time. Let's end our careers together as a team. Let's show them all what we can do. Go f yourself. The whole idea with me coming to AEW was to team with Christian. What I'm out here for is some answers. You want an answer? You'll get it this Tuesday live on Dynamite. Tuesday. The question is, are you going to make it? I still have goosebumps from that debut mm -hmm. of Adam Copeland. I mean, you hear that music. We get to see that rated R superstar yeah. in Edge. I mean, in, in Adam Copeland, just unbelievable to have him here. How do you think this is going to go tonight against Luchasaurus? Things have not really been smooth sailing for him since his debut no, here. I think those goosebumps are going to quickly turn into bruises because not only do we have Luchasaurus, you got to think Nick Wayne is maybe somewhere here. And of course, Christian is going to be looming over this entire event. Kicking the show off tonight. So you said, right? Mm -hmm. We're going to hear from Christian tonight? Whew, at the top of the show. Here he is. Well, let's talk about all the things that are happening mm -hmm. here tonight. Less than 90 seconds over on TBS. A little reminder of all the things that we're getting into. We got Swerve Strickland taking on Brian Danielson in a first-time matchup. I cannot wait for this one. We've also got the AEW Women's Championship on the line. Soraya taking on Hikaru Shida. And then we have Adam Copeland for the first time ever wrestling in an AEW ring against Luchasaurus. That Christian just looming over his shoulder. And we've got Jay White, the leader of the Bang Bang Gang, nice. taking on Hangman Adam Page. And then Powerhouse Hobbs, they took out Kenny Omega. Can they take out Chris Jericho, the newest member of the Don Callis family, does his bidding tonight. 
Unbelievable. And now Ray Phoenix, the international champion, taking on Orange Cassidy, former champion. Listen, it is time for us to get yes. out of here. Moving things on.